Hi, I'm Rodney with Rodney Camera Media and Technology. Today, this video, we're gonna talk about electric shavers. You see, I, dang, I'm going bald. Hmm. Well, actually, I already knew that. But usually I use a razor to shave my head, and today I'm gonna try a couple different things. Uh, recently received this as a gift. This is a head shaver, and I'm gonna check it out and see how this works. I bought this recently as well because I've been trying to try something different. I understand being an African-American man that when I shave, it makes, well, the razor makes a sharp edge on my hair and the hair might curl back in and actually go back into my skin, my skin, which is called an ingrown hair. So what I'm trying to do now is make sure if I use clippers, will I get a better cut? Will it be healthier for my skin? Will it make me still look so fresh and so clean? So let's uh, test it out. Comparing the Wall Super Close Shaver, which I've seen to get pretty good reviews on Amazon. And this one is the Freedom Grooming Head Shaver. So uh, before I get started, usually before I shave my head with these, any electric thing, I use this stuff right here, Clinique for Men's little free tip. This will get it ready. It is, this is actually an exfoliating tonic and you pretty much do it every day. But then before you shave, I use this stuff. The other thing I use is electric shave and excuse me, it's called electric shave. What this actually does is helps to, when the razor go over your head, it helps it glide without leaving a uh, irritation on your skin. So this stuff, you just put it on with one of these Q-tip or I guess any type of cotton pad and you just kind of rub it on and leave it on. And then after you're through, you, uh, Moisturize, but since I'm going straight to shaving, I'm going to put this on. Put this on with the pad, the clinic, clinic with the pad, and then I'm going to put the electric shave on right afterwards. And then I'm going to go ahead and let it wait 15 seconds for that to dry. Then I'm going to shave. I'll do one side with one and the other side with the other one, and we'll see how that goes. Now I shave my face and my neck and my head. So everything gets a little layer of this stuff. It does leave the white cotton. The, the cotton, the cotton swabs do leave the, the white balls behind sometimes. So I just try and get those off. Make sure I get the back of my neck. Okay. And that's the prep for the shave. electric shave just put it over everything get it nice and wet and then you let it dry for 15 seconds so okay I'm starting out with the wall this is a foil shaver there are shaves that go back and forth below this golden foil here and you glide it up usually I go against the grain and it's supposed to cut the hairs nice and short and smooth give you a good haircut so let's see how this works.
Okay, so it looks like this is not doing a good job on my head, on my face. It seems to have left behind quite a bit of hair, like quite a bit. My, my mustache, I got my mustache pretty clean, as you can see on this side, but everything else seems to be patchy and there are a couple smooth spots. But yeah, this, I don't know how, this is the best idea. Let me see, let me try this one and we'll hit it. Oh, that feels definitely smoother. Okay. All right. That's much better. On the face, we're doing better. The neck. The neck is better. Not the best. Not as good as a razor. But the neck is definitely better. Okay. Let's go for the head. Okay. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you'll be able to tell through this video that this side that I cut this one with is definitely the winner in this battle. Um, this thing didn't do that good a job. I mean, it left a lot of hair. It did clear the, the straight hairs in my mustache, and maybe that's the, what these are best for. These are probably best for straight hair. Um, if you have curly hair, it doesn't, and it could be because if you look closely in here, you see there's tiny holes, right? So if you have straight hair, more, there's a better chance that the hair is going to go through the tiny holes. If you have curly hair, possible it can go past those tiny holes or curl back under and it won't get in the holes and get cut. Um, if you look at what this has on it, there's, I guess the hair is going between these, anywhere in between these folds here or these foils, and then there's little blades on the inside to cut that. And that seems to be doing a much better job on my head. I'm probably going to go ahead. And, well, definitely. I'm going to finish this up. Now, if you compare these both to a razor, an actual razor, I think the razor is going to give you a much cleaner look, much cleaner cut. It does make you more susceptible to ingrown hairs, though. So that's a decision you're going to have to make. I usually use the best razor when I do. I use the... Uh, I usually use the best razors when I do. I use the Gillette Fusion 5, and this will get you cleaner than everything else, than all of these electric razors together. Although this is a fairly inexpensive one, I believe. It's like 30 or 40 bucks. So I'm gonna try a little more expensive one and see, and I'll compare it to this, and we'll do another video and see exactly how that, that turns out. Um, yeah, let me go. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up now and see how it, how it looks at the end. I think that sound might be as full. Let's see. Ah, okay. I don't know if you can see that, but 
this is getting full, I guess, of the little hairs and stuff. So I have to rinse this out. This is this one actually is wet and dry, so you can wash it and and use it in the shower and things like that too. So that's another little plus on this one. Ah, look at all the hair caked up around around this thing right here. Can you not see it? Oh yeah, all little hair. Look at all the hair caked up around here. Ah. Okay. I get it. All right, so there you have it. Still have a, uh, this is more of a place where I've always had a little irritation, a little discoloration in here. But uh, ever since I, whenever I use these, I get a little, it's hard to get this hair. Whenever I get an electric razor and use this, it, it's always hard to get the hairs right here for some reason. I don't know what's going on with this area, but uh, everything else looks pretty good. Looks pretty clean. And one more tip before we go. Skin tight. This stuff is awesome. It helps with any types of razor burns or, or issues or ingrown hair, ingrown hairs. It's got tea tree oil. It's got uh, tea tree oil and willow bark extract. So this is something I've, I always use after a shave, whether I'm shaving with a razor or electric. And this is actually the roller head. I prefer the one you just squirt your hand and put it on your hair. But this one, you roll it over your head and you see it's leaving something behind. It's a little tip for any African American men out there who issues, have issues with uh, razor bumps. Somebody told me about this. It was like, Ryan, you're my best friend automatically. So hopefully I'll be your best friend too. Rub it in. It does sting, <laughs> but it's not bad. Then you moisturize and you're good to go. So please like and subscribe. This is Rodney Cameron Media and Tech Top Technology. It's a better world with Rodney on the mic, and Rodney is out.